Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain. Okay, today's video I'm going to concentrate on making some tags and I've got a few little hints, tips and ideas for you. But what I want to do is to make tags out of bits that I have left over that aren't really of much use for anything else. But what I'm doing is making a double layer tag. So I will have this shape on the base and then I will have a window piece on the top. Now I've made my file, so that's no problem. But what I want to do is make it so that it's really easy to stick one piece onto the other. And instead of messing around with glue, I decided to use double sided tape. Now, normally if I was doing this, it would be relatively easy because I would be using, say, an A4 sheet of all the same card. And so I would just put strips of double sided tape all over the back of my card. But because I'm using scraps, it's not quite the same. And I want to make the most out of my strips of tape. I don't want to waste it. So what I'm going to do when I do my cutting out, the origin point on my silver bullet will be down here, somewhere in that corner. So if I put one of my bases there, I can see where the base would be and I can mark roughly where it finishes. And then I can put another one there and have a mark roughly where that one finishes. And I'm just going to extend that mark to the back of the card just there. Now that serves two purposes. It means I know I have to go up this far with the tape, but it also reminds me that I have to put the tape on that side of the back of the card, not this side. So that's what I'm going to do now. And the easiest way of doing it is to go from the top marker down to the bottom. So, so what I'm going to do instead of just doing one piece at a time, the idea is to fill up a large section, oops, a large section of the mat with pieces at the same time. Now, because this stuff has got a non-slip surface, I'm going to have to use some masking tape to make it stick in place. And I can send it to the cutter. And all I'm going to do is place the origin point here to start with, then move the origin to there, then move it over to there, and gradually work my way through all the card. And that way I can use up all my scraps. Okay, so I've cut out a few tag fronts to go along with the tag bases. And as I said, this one now has a double-sided tape on the back. Place it on the base first of all before removing the rest of the tape. That is the easier way of sticking it down. And there we have a double-sided piece. Now, of course, you can either write in there or if you wanted to, you could have printed in the base, um, depending on what you want to do. But you have a simple tag. Now, I sprayed both of these on the fronts with a permanent adhesive. And I'm just going to get a pair of tweezers to make it easier to handle. Now, in here, I have some very cheap white glitter. This is just standard stuff. It's not a super fine one. It's just a cheap, <coughs> pardon me, cheap white glitter. And so I'm just going to pick this up if I get off the paper here. And I'm going to dunk this in my box of glitter like so. And I know it's going to go everywhere. It always does when I'm working with glitter. I'm going to just hold it on the other side to make sure I haven't got any marks where the tweezers were. And put it down on my paper. I'm going to do the same with this one. Just so you can see what a difference the type of pattern makes when you do this. So tap it off. All this excess glitter is going to go back in my box. And that's why I put it in a box like this, because I can get it back in. It comes in bottles and you can't get it back in the bottle normally. So there we go. Now, you can leave it like that if you want, or you can do what I tend to do, which is burnish it with my finger. And that is just really rubbing quite firmly onto the card. And you think to yourself, oh, God, you're just going to take off every bit of glitter you put on. You're going to take some of it off, yes. You're not going to take all of it off. 
but what you'll be left with is something that's still glittery. I'm just going to use a brush to brush any bits off. Still glittery and pretty, but it's not going to shed loads of glitter absolutely everywhere when it's in use, which a lot of people really, really don't like. Lots of glitter everywhere. I don't know if you can actually see that, which I've bent it just on the side. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it is very shimmery still. And that gives it a little bit of extra oomph. Now you can just leave it to dry like this and just brush off the excess glitter, like so. And you will get a more obviously glittery effect. But when you touch this, you will lose glitter. So I do now tend to burnish all the items that I apply glitter to like that. Because what happens is all the stickiness will still be covered with glitter. There just won't be excess glitter there. It just makes it more user friendly. And of course it means you put all the extra glitter back into your pot, which means it costs you less. So there we go, can't be back in it. Right, there we are, there's the other one. And brush off any excess and that's the front of that one. it does make it look very pretty now my video previous to this one showed you how to do some marbled card and just look at the effect you can get if you put white glitter over a marbled card that is absolutely stunning so there we go just a quickie way of using up some of your scraps and making them look nice now obviously I've got a hole in here for some ribbon so you could either use a paper ribbon or a fabric one that tones with the card color that you have and then you've got some really nice tags there is another way of adding some glitter to your tags if you can find it I've got this sticky backed paper it's already got the adhesive on the back but it is very, very glittery, although it feels very, very soft and silky. It's got a beautiful glittery finish, and I found it in various patterns. It is unbranded, so I can't give you a brand to actually mention. Uh, I buy it in my local Chinese shop. <laughs> Occasionally, I find it in there, and it's great stuff. So this is what it's like. It's, you know, it's very thin. And so for this one, all I have to do is to peel off the backing and then apply it to a tag back. Why did I think sticky back paper is easier? <laughs> ah, I'm not sure really. Okay. Let's try and line that up with the top and get the holes matched up. Yeah, that should do it. Now I can just peel that away and it flicks into position. There we go. So that one is a nice and shiny result and they're suitable of course for birthdays and Christmases and whatever, yeah, depending on the colour scheme that you're wrapping your parcels in as to what sort of things you want to make your tags from. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.